Hello my dear friends, whether we are using a cystotome or a forceps to perform capsulorexis, we employ two types of forces, a tangential pull and a centripetal pull force, or sometimes a combination of both. Let's try to analyze these two forces. When we do a tangential pull, the cystotome moves parallel to the tearing edge. Now this will give a good control of the direction of tear, however we need to re-engage the anterior tearing capsule multiple number of times in order to establish a good tangential pull. Every 1 to 2 clock hours we need to engage the anterior capsule in order to perform the tangential pull and tear. In the last clock hour, in this particular case, you see that the surgeon actually uses a centripetal pull in order to complete the capsulorexis. Let's take another look at the tangential pull force in action. This looks very elegant. There is a lot of control in the direction of the capsulorexis. The chamber needs to be well formed while performing this. In a shallow chamber, the rexis tends to run outwards. And also we need to re-grasp the tearing capsule multiple number of times in order to establish a very good control of the tearing edge. Control the tear exactly in the direction in which you want it to go. A centripetal pull as you see in this end of the case will also help to bring the rexus from outwards in. When we use a forceps, unlike the cystotome, we need to use a combination of both the tangential and centripetal pull as it is not practical to re the tearing flap many times while using the forceps. Also, the shallowing of the chamber that occurs with the forceps use makes it necessary to resort to a centripetal pull to avoid coming out many times to reform the anterior chamber. So let's see how this works in a couple of case examples. So I'm going to use a forceps in this case and you will notice that in this particular case I'm using a combination of a tangential and a centripetal force. From this point onwards I'm trying to tear the capsule in almost tangential fashion and you see that it is very difficult to tear it in a tangential fashion because you need to re-grasp it many times in order to control the tear to go tangentially. Some amount of centripetal pull was finally needed to complete the rexus. Now this is the ideal way in which you roll and adduct your wrist in order to complete the capsulorexis using both tangential and centripetal forces. You see the beautiful melody in which there is a synchronization of both the tangential and the centripetal pull forces that act to create a beautiful nice round rexus. Thank you for your attention.